Hello and welcome to Airline Hydraulics Lancaster facility where hydraulic component reconditioning and testing is our expertise. We need to make sure our test equipment is always performing at its best and that starts with oil sampling. So today I'd like to share with you one way to safely and properly take an oil sample of your hydraulic system. First, we need to start with practicing safe techniques. Always utilize safety glasses, safety gloves, and good skin protection when pulling oil samples from your hydraulic system. And secondly, make sure when choosing and utilizing a company's oil sample kit and test results that the company you choose is educated and certified and will provide adequate information for you and your maintenance team to review and can provide a sample in a timely manner. Because if we see damage and the samples come back critical, we want to make sure that we take actions right away so that further damage doesn't happen. So here we are with our service technician, Eric, who's going to be taking an oil sample uh, from our hydraulic test bench. We utilize a test point to plug into the reservoir. And the first thing we want to do is actually just purge the old oil out of the line, making sure that there's no sediment left behind from the last oil sample. Now that all the oil is purged from the old line, now we can actually attach a brand new oil test kit bottle to the bottom of our pump. And now we want to slowly start drawing oil in to our test kit bottle. As Eric's drawn this stuff in, we want to just talk to you a little bit about the basic hydraulic test kits and what normally is supplied to you. It's an oil sample analysis for standard mineral hydraulic and lube oil, which includes the following tests. Spectro metals by ICP 24 metals, including wear, contaminant, additive, and multi-source. A viscosity, water percentage by crackle, which is the Carl Fisher. Total acid number, which is TAN, T-A-N and particle count, which is as per ISO 4406. Here, Eric was able to complete pulling oil from our hydraulic test bench power unit. Capping it off. And the next step is to fill out the paperwork properly and provide as much information as you can. So once we send this out to the laboratory, they know all about the type of hydraulic oil you're using, the valves that are incorporated on your power unit and hydraulic system, and the type of pumps that we're running. This is just one safe way to take an oil sample from a hydraulic system, and in doing so, staying on top of your equipment's blood flow, and stay proactive rather than reactive in keeping your equipment running more efficiently.